The toughest uh, thing about the camp uh, would have to be uh, the mountain biking for me. The boys seemed to love it. I seemed to struggle. My little calves and quads couldn't get me up and down those hills and stuff like that. So I struggled big time. I think I was this, the closest I've been to nearly quitting and, and walking off the job. <laughs> Pretty tough. JT, leave. Fine. Uh, my camp highlight uh, would have to be um, just visiting uh, a new place, a new country altogether and um, seeing the, the Grand Canyon, um, seeing the mountains, the snow, just taking in the scenery I think um, and um, also the experience of uh, a new training place and, and seeing how the boys developed over, the, over the, the two weeks that we were there. The player that really impressed me the most would have to be uh, Josh Caddy. Um, just his, his young age, his, his second year at the at AFL, um, or his first main pre-season, um, and just his leadership qualities um, really stood out. Here we are, down the bottom of the uh, Grand Canyon. All the boys have made it down successfully. No injuries, although there is um, one person missing, Josh Fraser. You seen him, Charles? I seen him on campus having some bacon and eggs earlier. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Saw him this morning at breakfast. Is that um, the movies, mate? Yeah, but obviously the uh, anticipation of an eight-hour hike has obviously got the better of him. Um, some would say he's a broken man and uh, ready to leave Flagstaff, but um, the rest of us are here and ready to power on. I'm pretty sure I seen him last night. He was on a webjet.com looking for some flights. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, doing it with, with a bunch of boys that were really driven and motivated to, to finish uh, the day uh, on a high and get up there in as uh, little as time as possible it was good. So we, I think we smashed it up, back up the back up the canyon and um, yeah, it was awesome. I think we've done it in record time, so it's a really good achievement for the group. <laughs>